All right, everybody, this is your workout to end chronic pain. Jesse, start the timer. You ready to go, Peter? All right. All right, let's go. Right leg forward, left leg back into a tall lunge position. Both knees are bent a little bit. The hips are strong and agile. Lift the chest, pull the chin up and back. Big, deep breath as you take the arms up all the way to head height. Bring them up a little higher, Peter. Don't go behind the head. Go above the head like you're reaching. Think of the back of the rib cage getting big and broad. Don't drop down. And now watch these guys as they begin pulsing their back ankle up and down slowly like a piston. Same tension down, same tension up. Try to time that with the next five breaths. Inhale up, exhale down. Start to pay attention. I know that was a quick beginning, but that front foot is powerful onto the ground. The toes are making a big foot, not a tight foot. Spread the toes apart. Make the foot strong. Feel that go up the leg into the posterior edges of the hip. The hip, the glute muscle, the hamstring, all the way into the abdomen if you're doing it correctly and lifting the chest and skull. All right, guys, let's lift the arms a little bit higher. We're gonna take this back hip and twist it towards the front leg just a little bit. Take Five more deep breaths in this position with the back leg pulling towards the front leg. Breathing as big as you can, as big as you can get into the back and front of the rib cage. If you have the ribs in the right position, you naturally expand with the inhalation through the nose. That front foot is powerful. The back leg is long. The rib cage is big and the hands are held together with some force. All right, let's bring the arms down, shake it off, take a deep breath. Left foot forward, right foot back. One thing I want you to notice, the back foot is not turned out. The heel is turned out, if anything, not the toes, and the hip is driven in the same direction as the front leg. Lift your chest high. Both knees are bent just a little bit, but the hips are tall and agile. With a big inhalation into the nose, lift the arms up above the head, not behind the neck, up above the head. That allows a long latissimus muscle, a wide back of the rib cage, and a powerful serratus muscle. Breathe into the back of the shoulder blades as you squeeze the, the hands together. And again, we're going to time with the inhalation a powerful movement of the back heel, down and up, down and up. Same speed, same tone. You're not pressing the calf up and then releasing. You're pulling up and pulling down. Pulling up, pulling down. The better you pull, the better you feel. With the hands pressing together on this next inhalation, we're going to statically hold tall, as tall as you can get, and we'll drive the back hip toward the front inner thigh. So there's a rotation, a spirally twist at the back femur toward the front leg. The front foot is powerful. The back leg is long, as if the hip flexor, the psoas muscle, all these abdominal muscles are releasing into the back heel, pulling toward the ground, but not getting there. Giant back of the rib cage, front of the chest breath. Lift yourself up. Let the arms come down, shake it off a little bit. We're gonna go into our first wide stance with subtle internal rotation from the hip joint down to the feet, like you're standing inside of a tight 90 degree angle box. Chin back, chest up. The hip joints are going to chop back behind us as the arms come forward into a powerful founder, an isometric hip hinge. You're feeling this at the lower back, at the hips, at the hamstrings. Don't squat into it, pull the hips into it. Make the broadest, biggest region you can between the shoulder blades and then pull the chest into that upper expansive region. The back of the neck is not tight, smelling your way forward. It's long, lifting the weight of the skull into the front neck muscles, powerful front neck muscles. The stronger you inhale through the nose, you use these strong muscles more. You use the serratus muscles more. You use the abdominal muscles more to pull and drag air into the lungs. Push your weight into the heels. Pull your hips behind you one more inch until you start to feel a real tension at the hamstrings and fight that tension by lifting the torso, protecting the lower back. You're going to be here for about 30 more seconds. You can do it. Lift the weight of the head. Press the feet into the ground. Try to gather the ground from the edges of the feet like you're pulling the earth together. 
If you're wearing shoes like Peter is, spread your toes into the shoes. Try to push the boundary of the shoe out of the way with your toes. Lift the toes like I'm lifting my fingers in my hands. I know it's getting tight. Pinch down at the armpits. Boom, get those lats involved. One more giant deep breath, huge deep breath. Press the heels into the ground. Feel the hamstrings leverage you back up to standing. Shake it off, but keep your position or don't. Shake it off and then go back to your position. That works too. We're gonna allow the feet to turn out just a little bit for the next one. We're going to do the same hip chop, but we're going to allow the hands to come much lower and we're gonna have a bit more knee bend. You guys ready? Chin back, chest up, strong chest. As you inhale through the nose, chop the hips back. Hands forward into that sphere of tension, like you're holding a giant heavy coconut with every part of the hand, fingers, and wrist. Pull the hips back a little tighter. Pull the hips back, pull the hips back, and push the knees out of the way. Push, push, push. You're going to allow one hand to isometrically stay very strong down here as the other hand lifts up in front of you in what's called supination, like you're handing a bowl of soup to somebody a little taller than you in front of you. Bring those arms down, hips back, push the heels into the ground, spread the toes, lift the back of the skull, other arm. Bring that arm down, big back of the rib cage breath. Pull the hips back a little tighter. Lift the hips one inch to load the hamstrings a little harder. One more round with both arms. Supinate, that's the name of the game. From the lats, through the shoulder, through the wrist. Supinate the wrist upward. Lift the chin. Don't pinch the shoulder as you do it. Lengthen the lat as you do it. Keep your hips back. I know you're tired, but it's just so good for you. You gotta keep going. Keep the weight back. You'll see Jesse has his hands to the shins. Peter has the hands to the shins. That means they're ready to get the hell out of this position. The back of the body is going to drag the entire torso up. Take a big deep breath. One more, focus on the exhale. One more. So the only change we're gonna make is a subtle internal rotation at the hips from this position. The toes are gonna to immediately spread. The best way to build an arch is to pull the toes away from center and then keep it there as you hinge the hips back. So pull the toes away from center. Strong hips, strong spine, strong neck. Pull the hips and hands away from center. Keep the toes spread and lifted to the best of your ability. Keep the perimeter of the foot, other than the toes, forcing its way into the ground. Try to use your heels and your foot as a vector of either outward pressure or inward pressure. Meet that with a lift of the skull, not a lift of the nose, a lift of the skull. Meet that with a pinch at the lats, at the armpits, and breathe into the tension you've just created. Begin reaching the hips and the hands away from each other. It's going to get tight for the next little bit. Pull the hips as hard as you can. Push the hands as hard as you can. A little harder. Pull the hips. Push the hands. We're going to use our right hip to pull just a little deeper, just a little deeper away from that left leg. We're gonna pull hard, stretching the adductor, stretching the groin, pull back to center. Let's go ahead and switch, pull deeper into that left hip, pull, 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 find that right adductor, pull, 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 pull. Don't snap anything. When I say pull, I mean pull with some responsibility and liability, but pull really hard. Draw the hips back, keep the spine aligned. Use that adductor to pull you back to center. Hips and hands away from each other. Spread the toes. Find the hamstring tension. Find that lift and length at the back of the skull. Use the inhalation through the nose to lift your entire torso from the heels to the head. And then exhale. Shake it off, roll the shoulders. Left leg forward, right leg back. Chin back, chest up. You forgot how hard this is. <laughs> Peter hasn't aged a bit, it's unreal. He's, I think he's wearing the same clothes. I don't know how he did it. 11 years later, he looks the exact same. Chin back, chest up. Arms go straight ahead of you, like you're taking aim. Take aim ahead of you. Keep the chest expanded. Keep the neck strong, a cylinder that's lifting the weight of the skull off your neck. The back leg is like a rudder. Aim the rudder toward the front leg just a little bit more. 
The arms are going to lift up. As they lift up, try to tighten underneath the shoulders, not above the shoulders. This is not a trapezius exercise. This is a lat exercise. Lever the arm up with the lat. Lengthen the neck. Lift the hips a little higher until they start to close together like a pair of scissors. Feel the front leg and back leg angling at each other intensely. One more deep breath. Let the arms down. Let's go ahead and switch legs. You got it, guys. Keep going. Keep going. If it was easy, anybody could do it. It's going to take you a minute to get through it. Keep going. Keep trying. You'll get through it. Chin back, chest up. Take aim. Breathe big. This is the biomechanics lesson of this pose. As the arms lift up, don't use the deltoids. Don't use the traps. Leverage the arms up from below. Support from below. Feel that tensioning in at the shoulder joint and breathe kind of expansively against it through the nose. And as you exhale, try to spread your toes. Through the nose. And then put that force expansively through the toes as you exhale. Shake your shoulders out, step out of that. Feet wide, chest broad, as if you're standing inside of a box. The hips are going to pull your body back away from your limbs. The limbs are going to counterbalance, reaching forward, as if you're holding a heavy coconut in the hands that you can barely get your fingertips around. Inhale through the nose, lengthen the neck, widen the ribs, front, back, sides, top and bottom. Spread the toes. Use that spread of the toes to lift your whole torso up to standing. Shake your shoulders out. Turn your head a little bit. This works well once, but this works great if you keep doing it. The more you do, the better you feel. Use this every day. You're not going to have much pain in your life. Feel well. Kept looking at the clock for help. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, guys. Good job. Good job.